what's up? Chanel, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Happy proper 2020. I apologize for all the technical ball ups, but I seem to have fixed the problem, so happy Monday morning to all you sickos out there. We're gonna be blasting disembowelment morning September demo number one from one of Australia's most important bands in extreme music. Normally, I prefer the full-length record, but yesterday I threw this on and I forgot how fucking good and heavy it is, and I have to thank Tyson for sending this my way. He's a bigger disembowelment fan than almost anybody I know, so fucking hails to Tyson for keeping it real. Now, if you want to check out disembowelment, I highly recommend the demo, but also check out the Dusk EP and the full length Transcendence into the Peripheral. It's one of the best fucking Funeral Doom slash Death Doom records of all time. And this next band I'm going to be talking about, I for the longest time thought their full length was the end all be all of like Funeral Doom slash Death Doom metal. It was just one of the most heavy, just oppressive slabs of the genre I had ever heard. And I'm talking about Decomposed, Hope Finally Died. But recently, a homie of mine, John Randall, got me an amazing birthday present. Because Hope Finally Died, I don't even know if it got a vinyl press. It probably did. I'm sure it did. But... I heard a rumor based upon this EP that's in my hands that is decomposed the funeral obsession that the full length might be getting a reissue and that full length being Hope Finally Died which is the perfect example of not judging a book by its cover. Long Gone is that more death metal influence logo and in its place is a nice, proper, just decomposed, hope finally died, and when you go back and listen to how fucking good the funeral obsession is, you start making second choice, like, second guesses. Like, do I like these two songs more than I like an entire album? Now... I know they're two completely different things, but on side one here you have At Rest, and at side two you have Spawn of Material Cadaver. Fucking so good, and just some of the heaviest funeral slash death doom metal ever fucking written right here. Hailing from the UK, Decomposed is one of the UK's best kept secrets. I mean, nowadays it's not so secret, but for a long time, I had no idea that Hope Finally Died existed. But then when I finally saw it for the first time, like I said, I kind of judged a book by its cover, because the cover is just very, very straightforward, and like, I'm kind of colorblind, so it looked like pink to me, and I don't know. As soon as I turned it on, though, I was like, holy fuck, this might be the best Funeral Doom album of all time. So, having to get the Funeral Obsession EP in my hands, not only is it something I did not think would ever happen, but here it is, sounding absolutely amazing, thanks to Jesus at Misako on Unjo Records, and this 1992 classic is preserved very 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 fucking nicely here 12 inches of fucking black wax i love this release and just 45 rpms of crushing death doom metal from the uk uh, you can't really see that well it's fucking sick looking. I love the stickers they used. 
it's just like old English on the front and then the back. I'll see if that works. There you go. It's just badass looking. And then there's like this uh, kind of church scene in the back right here. It's fucking sick, trust me. Like, especially Spawn a Material Cadaver. Like, that song is so fucking badass. But at rest, is just as good. But Decompose the Funeral Obsession is so fucking essential if you're a fan of Death Doom Metal. Especially because a lot of the more Funeral Doom elements are, you know... Like, not out in front the way you would kind of expect them to be, but trust me, they lurk. But at the end of the day, I would call this more of a Death Doom record than anything, but I would call it fucking heavy as fuck before I would say anything. And at the same time, just wow. Decomposed were one of those bands that just knew what the fuck they wanted to sound like and did it and Dan Lowndes at Renaissance Sound Studio you're the fucking man dude like more people if you need your shit mastered go see Dan everything he touches is fucking gold I swear like him and like Greg Wilkinson I, and Charlie now as well at Underworld Studios. Charlie's been killing it lately. And again, I, I'm just so impressed with these people's work. And here out of Philadelphia, we have Arthur Risk. And Arthur is so fucking sick. But back to the UK's Decomposed. This bad boy right here led up to Hope Finally Died, which was... One of the most important Funeral Doom records of its time, but I really feel like it gets overlooked, and that might have to do with how fucking hard it is to find a copy. Like, seriously, it's... I never see people post photos of it, anything like that. The only time I ever saw a photo of it, besides on Google was in an issue of Decibel. I think they gave it the Hall of Fame one time. But I just remember the first time I saw it, I was like, this is the heaviest Funeral Doom record ever? Just by looking at the cover. But I had, you know, heard the Funeral Obsession, but, like, I wasn't as fucking obsessed with, like, Death Doom Metal as I am now, like... I was going through like a stoner metal phase and that really started turning into a straight up funeral doom phase because I got real into like crusty music and like his heroes gone is heavier than most metal bands and from his heroes gone I remember finding winter and like from winter finding grief and then going down the sludge ladder a little bit but then really really finding funeral doom again like after first hearing it in like late 2003 in like 2010 it was my life it was all i listened to like ahab call of the wretched sea like that was my shit and i'm sure like a lot of my friends hated driving with me at the time because if you were getting in my car, we were listening to fucking gloomy ass doom. But on Decompose the Funeral Obsession, the death metal I feel is way more out in front. But yet at the same time, this just is oozing atmosphere. It's fucking crushing. The vocals are amazing. And just everything about these two tracks are fucking top shelf shit. Just an essential funeral death doom listen for any of you fucking maniacs out there that love all things crushingly heavy. Because it really doesn't get much heavier than Decompose the Funeral Obsession when it comes to like doomed out death metal. 
And I know that's a fucking heavy statement to make on its own, but like... Putting this next to such classics as like Winter in the Darkness... The similarities are there, but at the same time, they're two completely separate monsters, and I really, really love Decompose, just whole entire lyrical content here. It's fucking sick, like, for an album like this, having a track about, like, zombies, it's fucking awesome. And I just really love this 1992 EP. By the UK's Decomposed, you have At Rest and Spawn of Maternal Cadaver. So fucking sick. And this bad boy led to one of the most classic, crushing Funeral Doom records ever. Hope Finally Died. The weirdest fucking... I think that's actually a band promo photo that somebody fucked with. But if not, I apologize, but... If so, that's fucking awesome. But, yeah. Decompose the Funeral Obsession on MSUO. Sounds amazing. Looks amazing with, like, the glossy cover and everything. It's such a fucking sick reissue. Hails to Jesus and hails to MSUO for giving a fuck about Extreme Music's past and bringing it properly to the present. No fucking 25 different color variants, just heavy fucking tunes from across the pond. Decomposed, the Funeral Obsession EP, heavy as fuck. And we were blasting Australia's disembowelment. Morning September, demo number one from 1990. As always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule.